right guys here's the engine running after the throttle body has been cleaned the uh, adjustments to the linkage has been set and the vacuum hoses have been inspected and actually put in their correct place if you notice it's idling pretty smooth I'll come around and show you real quick where my RPMs are running at so sorry right about nine and a half where it should be you can tell that my temperature gauge is up it wants to be warm and uh, so there you go it's running properly okay guys uh, so as I just showed you just a second ago the vehicle is running properly now um, really good steady RPM um, Gas mileage has increased even more. Uh, the MPG gauge is working slightly better, but it, I think it's on its way out. Maybe, you know, needs a little TLC. Um, but uh, I know I've been in this engine a lot and showing you a lot of the pictures of the engine and, and doing this work, but this is kind of really, really important because mine was, I my vacuums weren't set up correctly. And uh, as a result, um, I was dealing with, uh, you know, some poor engine performance to some degree um, but a lot of fumes like I couldn't uh, even have the garage door halfway up or all the way up and the car be running and my eyes were, were getting really bad I, you know it, it was really strange um, and I haven't noticed that since I've actually corrected it does that mean that what I did actually is correlated or um, has anything to do with the other and I can't tell you for sure but at least I can uh, tell you from studying online um, some diagrams also going by the diagram that's actually sitting over here um, on the other side of the car uh, what actually is the correct vacuum line uh, set up for 1984 um, bear with me a little bit here again I'm still a novice but I'm gonna pass this on to you because this is the 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 best most correct information and maybe it'll help you out with getting things going a little bit better for yourselves alright so without further ado um, my issue that I had was these two right here were reversed, okay? So one of these um, actually goes to a, like a warm-up or temperature regulator that sits right underneath here, comes out, then comes over to this control module here, okay? And the other one actually goes underneath again, comes over here, and goes to your fuel uh, pressure dampener and your regulator that these these uh, two guys sorry hold on um, these two guys that sit on this top okay but these go into a T which form under here so it doesn't matter which way they are they just need to have the pressure directly so what happened is mine was actually set where uh, this piece right here that's supposed to go to the temperature control unit was actually going to my uh, dampener and regulator which was throwing the whole system off so I had to reverse them so um, once you reverse them off of this one here let's see if I can get you a picture of it it's kinda hard it kinda falls it tees off so this has a T which is kinda hard to see from right here but it has uh, let's see here a T piece down here that allows it to run up there but it also runs a line around here over to the back side of the control unit okay um, so you want to make sure that's connected to the control unit back down to the T and you want to make sure that this right here coming off of here is actually going into your temperature sit setting this uh, sitting under here it's like a temperature sensor uh, let me see if I can get a picture of it so sorry guys I'm not the best with the videos sometimes but there's a temperature sensor that sits right in there there's one going in one coming out it actually comes out goes around over here and goes to this front side of the control valve so um that's really important to make sure you have it set correctly um again you want I guess uh, for emphasis this back piece right here should be going to out of here, teeing off, coming over to this this side right here, 
where it tees off and then the other end goes under the manifold and comes up to your dampener and to your regulator. That's what you want. And then the, 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 not the back one, but the front one, you want to go underneath, go to your temperature sensor and then come around to the front side of the control, uh, of the control valve. Also, I noticed that, um, let's see if I can see it. You can see this wire right here, right in there. There's two connectors that sit and control this right here. Uh, one of them wasn't connected, and I connected it back. And, uh, you know, it really improved overall um, the engine. Basically, it wasn't rocking anymore. Everybody talks about this 944 knock that you have, this rock that you have. And so they're increasing their uh, RPM range. Um to get rid of the knock, but at the same time you're dealing with other problems that come as a result. But I really think that, you know, again, once you get your idle speed, your air to fuel mixture set up right, you get your linkage right, you get your vacuum set up right, you really got it running um, in a really good way. I hope this video helps you out, guys, uh, um, as you perform your own tasks or when you're troubleshooting. Um, idling, performance, uh, MPG issues, with your uh, 944 against this is my 84. So I uh, hope that helps. All right, stay tuned. Thanks, guys.